If you're interested in buying Fallout 76 caps, weapons or items, check out easympc.com and use my code DTDG for 5% off via the link in the description. Hey everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showcasing the new green backwards bungalow which got added into the game yesterday as a reward for completing the weekly spread the love challenge. Now before I showcase the new bungalow, I'm going to give you a couple of tips on what I found was a really easy way to get it and also explain how you get it. Before we jump in though, if you enjoy this video, make sure to click on the like button for me. And if you want to see more guides like this and keep up to date with what is going on in Fallout 76, then make sure to subscribe. So first thing first, the challenge you have to do to earn this free item can be found under the weekly challenges and it requires you to kill 30 super mutants with a pipe wrench with the heart wrencher skin. If you don't have the skin yet, you can find it in the atomic shop for free and then add it to a pipe wrench on a weapons workbench. Once you have one in your inventory, you need a location with super mutants and because of the one wasteland update, you're gonna want a location with a level 50 level cap on the enemies if you want a melee build. Otherwise, you know, it's uh, it's gonna be a bit of a tough fight. So don't go to West Tech because you'll get level 100s. So that's gonna be a bit nasty for you. So I would recommend you go to Grafton Steel and Grafton Dam. Here there are loads of super mutants you can find and if you are lucky you will also get the event Manhunt just over the river at the dam. Now if you aren't a melee build like I'm not, easiest way to do it is use your main weapon to knock down their health and then finish them off with the heart wrencher. This will make your life a lot easier just like it did mine that you can see on screen now when I'm fighting the enemies. Quick little note for you too, mutant hounds do not go towards the challenge so just kill them with your main weapon and don't worry about them. Once you've cleared this location as well as Grafton Dam you should have easily got all 30 super mutants needed for the challenge. So then guide out of the way, what does the bungalow look like and is it worth the challenge? Well here it is side by side with the standard atomic shop backwards bungalow as you can see. They are exactly the same apart from obviously the colour. However, this time round, you don't have to spend a penny on them. Just do the challenge and there you have it. A pretty nice looking pretty fab. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Personally, I don't think you can really complain. It's free at the end of the day. And also it comes with a green door to match. Like, it's an alright looking prefab. It's pretty handy if you want to just use it for your vendors or if you want to use it as a bit of a feature in your camp. So you can't complain about it whatsoever. If you are, then please enlighten me with what, what there is to complain about because I can't think of anything. That is it for this video though, I hope you've enjoyed and found these little tips of mine helpful. If you did, help me out by hitting that like button, and if this is your first time watching, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch us all later. Bye bye.